Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly and this is my dog, Stella. She's sleeping in my lap right now. And I thought today would be a good day to show you my daily routine with Stella. Stella gets paid in neck scratches. She always just tosses her head back when you're petting her because she just loves being pet right under her neck. Getting your dog into a routine is so important, especially when they're young. It helps with house training, behavior training, and I feel like dogs just like it. So today I'm gonna take you through Stella's routine. There's a couple things we've already done this morning. As soon as I wake up, the very first thing I do is take Stella into the backyard to do a pee, just to buy me a bit of time before I have to give her a proper walk. So I've already done that this morning and I've already had breakfast. But now it's time for Stella's breakfast. Are you hungry? You ready to eat? Oh, okay. You want your breakfast? Here is Stella's little breakfast nook. <laughs> I keep her kibble in here. This used to be a protein powder container and then I just peeled off the label and used my Silhouette cutting machine to put a little label on it. And I even used the little scooper from the protein powder to scoop her food. I washed it really well. Last time I made a day in the life video with Stella, it was pretty long ago and she was still really young and at the time she was on a GI kibble that was prescribed by the vet. And it was because she just wasn't eating a lot. She wasn't really motivated to eat. She'd throw up really easily. She just has a very sensitive stomach, especially for a dachshund because dachshunds are usually gluttons when it comes to food and Stella just isn't. She's a little bit of a picky eater. So she's not on that food anymore. She's on a kibble that I think is a pretty healthy kibble. And then she also takes probiotics. These are from Pet Lab Co. And her stomach is so much better than it used to be. She doesn't throw up anymore. She's still a little bit of a picky eater, but she actually eats her two meals a day now, which is awesome. But I've been working for a while now on strengthening Stella's gut health. And right now, this is what I'm using and it's working super well. Pet Lab has a bunch of different treats, meal toppers. This is what they look like. So I use the probiotic too because of Stella's stomach issues, but I actually also have their joint care one. I give her the joint care one because of IVDD and dachshunds backs and all that stuff. I don't know if joint things actually help it, but in my head, joint strengthening and keeping those nice and healthy would at least a little bit help prevent it. I'm not a vet, I'm not a professional, so don't take my word for it. That's just how my head works. Even if it doesn't help with IVDD, it's still just generally good for your dog to keep their joints healthy. But the joint one is more of just like an extra one to keep her safe and healthy. This one is actually really well fit for Stella and is an everyday thing. You could give it to your dog as just a treat, but I use it as a meal topper so she has one a day at breakfast and Stella eats her breakfast every single day. There's occasionally times where she'll skip her dinner if maybe she didn't have enough exercise that day or I don't know, she's just not feeling like it. Sometimes she just won't eat dinner, but because of meal toppers, she always eats her breakfast. If you're interested in trying Pet Lab Co. probiotics, they do 10% discounts for your first time purchase and they also have subscribe and save options as well. I'll have it all linked in the description, but Stella is literally sitting here staring at me so let's make her breakfast. Part of the reason why I chose this brand is because of the research they do on ingredients, quality, and testing. Each one of these little chews has over 3 billion colony forming units with 8 special strains of good bacteria. There's pumpkin, honey, insulin, so much good stuff. Now that Stella's had her breakfast, she's got a full stomach, I'm gonna take her out for a short little walk so she can poop. So that's basically Stella's morning routine. So now she can just chill out for a bit. Sometimes she'll have a little more energy than other times. Sometimes she'll just go right to sleep after all this. Other times she'll wanna play, especially when Stanley is visiting. Then she kinda just wants to play once she's eaten, gone out, all that stuff. But it is a work day for me, so I need to get some work done. I have a bunch of photo and video editing to do. And then I also have a hair appointment later, so I will be leaving Stella alone for a few hours so I'll kind of go over 
how I handle that. But for now, I'm gonna go get some editing done and we'll see if Stella wants to play or sleep. Stella was definitely in the playful type mood today. The whole time I was working, she was trying to get at her toy bin, so I just put it on the floor with her, and she was just emptying the bin and running around with all the toys that she hasn't played with in forever. But I've gotten a couple hours of work done. Now it's time for my hair appointment, so I'm gonna head out. Stella is re now, and she's old enough and chill enough that I trust her around the house by herself. So I don't crate her every time I leave the house anymore. More. So because I'm only gonna be gone for a couple hours, I'm gonna leave her roaming around. But I do have a fur bow, so I'm gonna see if I can spy on her through the fur bow. I have a feeling she's either just gonna sleep in her bed or by the front door, or maybe like walk around and play a bit. I don't really know, but she's usually pretty chill when I leave her by herself. I just got home from my hair appointment. Stella was very happy to see me. I just went a little bit darker again and got some more layering. It was funny because when I was there, I was getting notifications on my Furbo of activity and it was basically just Stella going from the couch by the front door to take a nap and going to get a drink of water and then going back to the couch. <laughs> So she's due for some exercise today. All she's done is nap since I left. I'm actually taking Stella on a road trip tomorrow. We're going to my cottage in Quebec and we're gonna be there for about a week. Stella is running a little bit low on her kibble and I wanna get her some raw hides just to keep her distracted. There's gonna be other dogs there, other big dogs and Stella struggles with big dogs. So I'm bringing her crate and some toys and treats to keep her distracted. So we do have to go to the pet store and I do have to take Stella for a walk or play with her or do something. So I think that's what we're gonna do next. Go get some bones and then go on a trail walk. You wanna go for a walk? You ready for your walk? Yeah. got some decent exercise and we got some new dog food. Let's do a little haul. So I buy her food at Pet Value and their brand is called Performatrin and that's the kibble that I go with for Stella. But from what I'm told and what I see on the label here is it's pretty clean ingredients. So this is the kibble that I go with. And then I usually get her no hides as a bone. Like the brand is literally called no hide. It's basically like a rawhide bone except there's no rawhide in it. So it actually digests and goes through the stomach properly. Whereas raw hides can be kind of dangerous because they don't always pass through. If your dog swallows a piece, they're not easily digestible. But the lady at the store recommended their brand, Perform Performatron Ultra, which of course it's pet value. They're gonna recommend their own brand. <laughs> but she sold me and now I'm trying the Performatron Ultra Hide Free Rolls. So it's got five chews. They're an all natural, easily digestible alternative to raw hide. I love these things. I mean, I haven't tried this brand specifically, but no hides in general. I love them because sometimes Stella just needs a little entertaining. If we're having company over or I'm trying to distract her from barking at a dog and just need her to have her alone time when she's not tired, sometimes I'll give her one of these supervised. Never leave your dog unsupervised with a chew like this. It's also good for teeth and gums. But anyways, these are for the cottage. And then I got this little treat bag. The people at the store were giving Stella treats to try and get them <laughs> to to try and get Stella to like them because Stella does not warm up for people very easily. And she loves them. She's never tried these treats before. So we got a nice little sample bag. But anyways, back to Stella's daily routine. After her evening exercise is when she usually has dinner. So that's what we're gonna do right now, give her some dinner. Stella always finishes her breakfast, but she doesn't always finish her dinner, like I said earlier. So usually what I do is I just give her a scoop and then I leave it out for about half an hour if she doesn't eat it and then I just put it back in the bin. But that's basically it. That's Stella's daily routine right now. It's a little bit different than the last time I made one of these videos. Her food's a little different. 
I don't take her to the dog park anymore. I took her to the dog park in my first day in the life for a daily routine video. Stella does not go to the dog park anymore. Maybe that's for a whole separate video, but it is strictly just walks and fetch and playing outside for her exercise now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see more videos with Stella, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.